Hiradi Naroma and of Ketian. I was born here in Taiwan and I was away for, for many years and I just returned home for about like three years, not very long ago. What I'm now doing is that I I I own a private school in Taiwan, which is um one school is a kindergarten of about 350 students, and another one is a primary school of about 550. So we just been established here in this area for for longer than 20 years ago. I'm the third generation of the family business, and also I'm teaching in university, both Prince Samsung Park University and Kerbachapat University as a part-time lecturer. Also, I'm doing and involved in the media as well as like being presenter and doing MC as a freelance, um, as well as doing um, some of the sports, you know, activities. Yeah. And also, <laughs> I am taking part of the charity and the secretary of the what should I say, secretary of the. Uh, young woman, what should I say? Um, young business and professional women association of Thailand who can chapter, which is doing, uh, which consists of the group of the business and professional women, age on um, lower than forty five, that uh, we have business or doing the professional that can contribute to the social. And How long? Uh, it's about, well actually I returned home about three years, but um, to attend the event is about like two years back because the first year, my first year was focused to my business and, and the thing I, I was doing at that time. Yeah, like yes. in Bangkok before? In Bangkok and in Asia. And was you attending the events there? Yes. And how did they compare? Well, it's different. It's different. I mean, because when I was in Bangkok, I worked for uh, the global corporates as well as in Asia as well. So most of the events I attend will be like the corporate events, the charity or um, the events that we sponsor that, um, at the national level. Yeah, but uh, it mostly, uh, well, the, the diversity of people, Thai and foreigners, but mostly will be Thais. But here, there will be more of the services industry and hospitality. So the events will be, um, uh, even though it, it, it could compare to corporate, but um, in the different in the different style. More here it's more casual. They are more social and more casual. And um, also, I think this is this is more of the party and and, and people after you attend event for. For a year, and then when you go again, it's like seventy percent of the people, you know, you know. So that's different. I should say, like every week or every other week, you know, not not even longer than that, because it's always something come up. So uh, I'll be attending events um, as sometimes as guests. The event sometimes as an MC because I mean, like provide my services, and also sometimes as a committee if I am the, 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 I'm involved with their organizing, you know, especially with those of the academic things or the government um, sometimes. Again, again, if I compare it to the time before I went, okay, and when I come back, things change a lot. I mean, in the past, before when I was younger, uh, uh, the event was full of the ties because mostly organized by the government or the non-profit organization or um, the local organizations of the Thai companies, which is still few foreigners involved at that time for sure. You know, back to like 15 years ago. Yeah, at that yeah at that time, still people. Uh, who got to know each other from the families or from the business part of it, get together. Uh, that would be from the like, Rotary, Lion Club or uh, some of the associations with the um, uh, business people mainly. And nowadays, there is more of the diversity because of the industry itself, of the multicultural, multinational people here. So um, they will change to be um, from the 
from each business rather than the government. Of course, still some of the government functions going on, but that will be involved with the, you know, sometimes um, sponsor. Yeah, in the past, it's not many sponsor to the event except the big event like uh, King's Cup in the past, but right now, it's still, you know, like a media yeah, sponsor and everything. Yeah. So things change and the people are changed because the people from somewhere else come in and work here in Phuket. So I can see from uh, when you when you go to the event, people, the way they dress, the way they um, perform, the way they style, um, the um, personality, okay. even the conversation, we talking a different. Yes. Well, normally people would have known me as um, the business person, the local business person, because because I own school, right? And some people also have known me as a lecturer in universities. Um, but again, uh, maybe about like three roles that people are not really know me is that um, that I'm I also own the what should I say the um, the company um, just establish and doing. Um, what the kind of entertainment and MC and really depends on um, can I say the name of the company or is it it's a, the company is Unique Communications Asia which is uh, you know I, with, with, um, I am a co-owner yeah with another person and then we we just be being involved in the media as a presenters um, uncles and MC radio presenters who get together and then set up the, the yeah, yeah to yeah, so this is just the new services that I provide to the social and I've done some of the events already. Yeah, and also I'm a marathon runner. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and pe some people who um, who is the fan of health and sport get to know me uh, that I'm involved in many, most of the races here in Phuket and outside Phuket as well. Involved as in taking part? Uh, yeah, being a runner, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I run, yes, participate, participate there, and also um, I'm a, well, I'm a secretary of, um, what do you say, Phuket, uh, private education, private education association of Phuket, the secretary of private education association of Phuket, that uh, will get together among the people who is doing the private education institutions here and as a partner and try to develop what um, the standard services of the private education. I rather say this isn't important, but again, um, what I always, what I was I've been taught since I was younger and also what I believe is that not uh, the look is important, but um, rather than get rather than gain um, attention, I I want to gain respect. You know, it lasts longer. So that's why it's come to the way I uh, I always care about the way I dress and the way I you know, the outfit, carry myself, carry myself off as an appear in in the events because uh, as people see me in different roles, so I have to balance that as well as I have to be proper enough to to respect um, the what kind of the events and, and also you know the as a guest or even the MC. I just think about that. Yeah, it's a, yes. Okay, so it's it's important. Hey, um, the best event would be the event that I I involve. You know that I feel is the best because of the experience. Um, so I uh, about about almost almost ten years ago, I attended um, the the event called a one hundred year anniversary of Mercedes Benz in Thailand. At that time, I worked in in I, I work for Mercedes Benz Thailand headquarter, and they celebrate a hundred year anniversary just in Bangkok. The event lasts for last for almost 10 days in uh, Bitech, you know, um, what Bangkok International Conference Center and, which, um, uh, and doing a lot of the celebration, the corporate celebrations and at that time uh, plan as, an, as a committee of the people who will be organizing. So I was involved for about a year to prepare everything. I was put to to, to do the research about the alternative energy 
uh, for the automotive industry with the PTT or um, yeah, uh, petroleum of Thailand just to, to you know to and doing the presentations for four days and yeah about the alternative technology mainly to promote the um, uh, natural vehicle you know the NG, the, 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 the NGV yeah, for the uh, Mercedes-Benz E200 at that time this was going to be launched and also when it's about the time um, that close to the event day I I, I was honored and I was lucky to be selected to help the personal assistant to the CEO to select um, the set of foods and drinks. So that's why it, when the day has come and when it's done, so I just feel like I really, I really enjoy it because it's a part of my job. And the event itself was really, I just say it's really fabulous, it's really it's really everything is just, just just right, you know, just perfect. All the guests are from everywhere in the world. The setup was really grand, and everything was was really well prepared and successful. Yes. And how about yeah. how about in Phuket? Uh, again, the the best event, still the event that I involve because you know, the best is 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 very it it, it depends on. What you think? If I'm saying this is the best, so probably it's not the best for for you or for other people. But when you are involved, so you experience it, so you feel into it, right? So the best events for me here just just about like three weeks ago that I that I uh, was doing an MC for um, uh, what should I say? Is the when Dev Pearson, who is the world uh, number one exhibition pool player, that coming and attempt to beat his own record, the world record here, just to be recorded on the Guinness Book. And I was, again, I was lucky to be chosen to be an MC. So I spent time working with the organizers, you know, not, not just for a week, but longer than that. I follow him, I get to know Dave Pearson personally, I need to get in touch with him because we have to work with closely. Um, and then I follow him to where he went for the show and until the days come I was there at the Central Festival by the venue since like after lunch time and I I was there until until almost one o'clock. But I didn't stay for the party but again the job was really the it was my what they say is like most impressive, my, the, the most, most fun gig that I ever got because I did an MC from from even from seven until like four hours something. I spoke all the time because I have to like come and I have to learn. Really, I really have to learn how to play the pool. I really have to learn how to and being able to announce, you know, like. Where, how, what is the score? Was it, which is, it's not just an MC. It's, it's the skills development as well, and I, I have to, I have to be a part of that to make sure that, uh, people also uh, being linked with this, with what's happened over there. So, so that's why I think it's the world Guinness record. So that's why I think this is one of the best because, yeah, it's, um, it's yes, special that you're special. involved with something like that. Yeah. Here, uh, I think. Uh, well, I think for for the event here in in Phuket, if there's many of the good events here in Phuket, and and I think uh, the events that I think the people here, even though you are foreigners or you are local, you should attend is the Phuket Old Town Festival or the Chinese um, New Year Festival in Phuket Town. Why? The reason is because. If you are here, especially if you are foreigners, there's not many chances to get involved with in something typical to culture. You know that the event is not just a party on the beach or something like that. This is our, basically um, the main sponsor will be those of like um, get municipality office or anything. It's probably not the luxury events. It is not probably not the not the big events where it's going to attract the tourists. But if you want to get to know more about Phuket, if you want to feel local, the real side of Phuket, real size of Phuket, attend it there, you know. And I mean, because I, I, I was an MC there, and, and for this kind of events, 
with the asking by um, Phuket Municipality Office and Gratu Municipality Office, even the Gratu um, Cultural Festival. This is about a cultural festival that, again, I would rather suggest the organizers who are just uh, the government offices to do it more, to, to promote it more and do it for have to be more colorful and more powerful in order to attract the different market. And they will, you know, this will be a lot of win-win events. And that will make the Phuket as a whole to bring about the image, which is not just for tourists, but to maintain the, well, but the and difference. bring a different kind of tourism yes, as well. Yes, yes, that's true. Attract a different group of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The event that I'm looking forward to is that I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing um, the marathon. I'm, I'm, I'm now finished the marathon a couple weeks ago, but then I'm thinking about next event that I'm gonna do. Is that I plan for next year if I can go to the New York marathon in America, because I used to spend time in America. So I think the New York marathon will be, you know, I, I will be, I will looking forward. And the way I'm looking forward is not just to prepare to get to the event, but also train myself yeah, to, to, to participate in a full marathon. That will be for, for next year, 2014. And, yeah, and, and maybe here, if the event here, what I'm looking forward to uh, is that another one is um, King's Cup Regatta, which is one of the big and important events in Phuket. Because um, you know, as a also to what uh, did they say to to celebrate the king's birthday, and the events could be it could be done anywhere in Thailand, Pattaya, or somewhere else. But we are lucky enough we could get that that kind of event be they are organized here every year and getting more and more important. But some people do not know about its important and how, even how lucky they are to be able to to involve yeah, be part of it. So. Please, if you are foreigners or you are the local here, try to maybe you have to buy the ticket. Doesn't matter. It's, it's you have to be honored. You know, it's something to do with the king and the country. That Phuket has been a destination for for years. Yeah. I'm coming back again to the West Vegetarian Festival. I think it's it's the it's the best event. This could, couldn't be compared, you know, because it's everything, it's everything there. And, and I mean, uh, uh, it's lacra, it's a lacra event, it's something to do with entertainment, it's something to do with the local culture, it's something to do with um, even, you know, tourists and, and food, people love it. My top tips is, again, as a, okay, as a guest, okay, as a guest first, so I think um, you have to be, um, have to, uh, I mean, you have to appear, I should I say, properly, okay? Like the way I dress, maybe probably uh, the way I appear in the media, maybe, but my, uh, I mean, my philosophy probably different from other people because I, 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 I started from what I wear, I want, I want to gain and not, not, not much attention but more of the respect. But I, I will respect the owner of the, of, of the events or the place or um, the level of the guest attend event or uh, objective. But if it's a theme event or the fashion show or anything, I do I do whatever the theme requires me to. Okay, so in order again to cooperate and to be a part of an event, if I attend the event as an MC, I must be professional. I I won't think I'm a guest. Never. I will have to shut up. I will be the person behind, even to dress. For example, even an MC for the wedding. That will be minimum, you know, with the way the I dress and everything, because you know the bride and groom will have to be star. And I, if I stand there, you know, even if I'm standing there and the lady on the stage, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody else. At, you know, the bride and groom will have to be on the spotlight. So this is something. I mean, some people attend their wedding and they dress up a lot and I feel like, of course it's up to them as their person, but sometimes you have to think a lot more of this 
it's not okay. It's your friend's party, but it's their wedding. You understand? To be too sexy or to be uh, sometimes actually stand out. Stand out. I, I don't think that is that is nice way to be. Or uh, yeah, or even doing MC. Your job is not. You are not going just to eat and drink. I do it afterward. I I won't drink at all. I mean, I will. I try to link people to the events and and do what the job require me to do. And. Uh, for I mostly uh, doing makeup and uh, the dress on my own. You know, I I I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on that for the dress. Sometimes I wear it and again I wear it again after a while. I'm not gonna worry about wearing the same dress. Um, even um, you know in some of the events or the same as other people. As so I'm not gonna care about that. As then if I attend any sport events, it depends if I uh, have to if 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 I attend as a some of the group that I have to wear a kind of uniform or not a uniform but then sworn to the chair so I'm doing that and I I mean I'm represent the event as the as the runner or as the someone who is doing sport. So I I'll do it uh, for as a professional athlete. I'm not gonna try to do something like <laughs> too sexy or that not to get attention again because it's happened that a lot of people going to the sport event like a model <laughs> but is I mean I, I have to concentrate to the finish line you know I, I can't be uh, and yeah so that's it and also when you see people uh, have to be humble you have to try to remember people and the way you greet people is very important here because people as I told you after a while you know 75 80 percent of the people you know they um, be able to remember them as much as they can remember you, that will be the tips. Greet other people first, smile a lot, a lot more than when you were, you know, I mean, uh, and also being humble. And what I should have done, but I didn't, I haven't done it enough, is to carry the business card, which I, 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 I am not, I'm not really on the business <laughs> proposal, that, but I, I put it to, to the low priority, and that's probably not so good, so it's a suggestion. So the tips for you that you do better than me is to carry, you know, your business card. Yeah, everywhere you can. Because you never know when the business is gonna come. <laughs>